But before that, we're going to have a clip from a friend of the show, Erica Schumacher, who went hot air ballooning. Take it away, Erica. Thanks, Jess. I'm up in Middletown, New York, and I'm about to take a hot air balloon ride with Fantasy Balloons and owner and pilot Ken Smith. Let's go! We were trying to track the balloon, so we headed out to go find it, but we had to switch directions and then take another road to go figure out where the balloon's going because the wind currents are different. live in a normal size home, you have about 150,000 BTU heater heating your home. British thermal units, that's how we measure heat. A big lighter is a quarter of a BTU. If you look at these two burners above your head, they put out 40 million BTU. 20 million a side. I've got to heat, I've got to heat up 200,000 cubic feet very, very quickly. Hi, my name is Ken Smith, owner of Fantasy Balloon Flights. Lana and I uh, own Fantasy Balloon Flights. We are celebrating 26 years in business this year. Uh, from where we are, you can actually see the New York City skyline, the Hudson River. Uh, if we go up about 2,000 feet, you can actually see Long Island Sound, but you can see New York City pretty distinctly. And from that vantage point, we can see about 85, 90 miles. It's, it's really incredible. Yeah, we fly seven days a week, mornings and evenings. Uh, we generally lift off in the mornings at sunrise. That is the best time to fly. It's something magical. It's a lot of fun, something we love to do. And uh, we invite you to come out and join us. Okay, so we just got back from our hot air balloon ride and it was amazing. We went to traipse through some wetlands and look, I'm soaking wet to prove it. I w we came, we saw amazing nature scenes. There was some really cool wildlife and we had an emergency landing in someone's backyard. We had to assist with the balloon. It was great and I got my first flight certificate, which is awesome. It's definitely something I would recommend up here in Middletown, New York with Fantasy Balloon Flights. Have a great day. Thank you so much. I'm here with V. That was absolutely awesome. So can you please introduce yourselves? I'm Victoria. Kevin. Joey. Josette. Kyle. And how long have you guys been a band together? We've been a band for uh, a little over a year. We've been playing out for a year now. Wow. And how did you end up like meeting and making this band happen? I met Josette a bunch of years ago performing at Don Hills, a club down in the city. We met each other one night at a girl-fronted rock band karaoke type night. And um, I met Joey through Craigslist. <laughs> and Joey's in another band with Kevin, our wonderful yeah. topless drummer, and <laughs> Kevin knew Kyle because they're brothers. Oh, so. that'll do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, I see it now. I didn't see it before now, but now I see it. You'll have to take your shirt off later so we can make sure. Uh, I can <laughs> Compare and contrast. <laughs> yeah. cool. So for anyone who's watching and they want to do what you guys are doing, what kind of advice would you give them as far as like practicing or just getting making their goals happen? Um, well, we haven't reached all of our goals, but at least we've gotten as far as having original material and playing out multiple times a month and having a band that we really enjoy being in and trusting one another. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, you know, getting a band off the ground, you need to write your own material. You need to surround yourself with lots of musical people and talented people and people that 
want to be successful. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the worst thing in the world is to, you know, get to a certain point and then shoot yourself in the foot. You have to want it. I really believe that, especially being with people who want to be successful because you're motivated, but if the person with you isn't as motivated as you, it's going to really Hold hinder. You back. Yeah, absolutely. Now, as far as material, who writes the material and how, what is that whole process like? Well, ev every one of us does write, but in regards to the songs you've heard today, mm -hmm. I co-wrote them with a producer and writer, Peter Zizza. And uh, we've tried to write a couple songs together, but it, none of them have come into fruition yet, but they will eventually. It awesome. just takes time. So what are your future plans? What can we look for? Take over the world. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. We look for world domination. That's, that's how close we are. <laughs> that I know what you're right. thinking. World domination. Tour the world. <laughs> tour the world. I would love to tour the world. But we'll it's start off small. We'll go domestic first. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. We'll be happy with uh, the red, white, and blue yeah. to start with. Awesome, awesome. And now, have you put your songs together? Are they on a CD? Can anybody grab them? We do have CDs. We're going to be printing more CDs. And once we uh, finish a couple more songs with the producer we're working with, we will probably be putting out an EP. We're hoping to uh, get a university tour going in the fall once school starts. There's an up and coming music sharing website called GrooveShark.com that we are set up to be a featured artist in the fall to help support the tour. Cool. And if that's the case, then there will be music available through the internet as well. That is awesome. But in the meantime, if you want to check them out, check out their MySpace page, MySpace slash V Music Rocks. That's R O X with one X. And they'll be uh, having gigs June 26th at Don Hills again, July 12th at Arlene's Grocery, and August 23rd at Tompkins Square. And now that's a fundraiser, right? Yeah, that's so, a fundraiser called Dylan's Day. Just that so you know more. My about friend Eileen's that. son has Down syndrome, and oh. it's a benefit for him. And oh. it's bands throughout the whole day at Tompkins Square Park Avenue A. That's Manhattan. wonderful. Yeah, it's so great. definitely check that one out. That one's a fundraiser. It's really, really a good cause. So uh, you guys will stay around and do one more song. Yes. Absolutely. And so you're going to have to take your shirt off again. Yeah, take well. it off now, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> take the shirt off now. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate well, it. Thank you for thank having us. Oh, it's thank my you. pleasure. It's my pleasure.